Hi, this is Shui with a review of a Korean-made plastic bottle. Uh, there were times in the 80s when South Korea actually had this brand called Academy. Uh, and they used to, what they did was they earned the, li uh, they, they paid for the licensing uh, in, uh, in Japan and they reproduced them using the same mold. Um, so... We've come, uh, we've come a long way from just reproducing what they have to actually manufacturing or designing our own silhouette for this classic item, which is the God Phoenix, the first uh, main vehicle uh, of the, the Gacha Man series. Uh, this has had many interpretation. I think the most successful one they've had was uh, two, one by Uni5 and another by Evolution Toys. I like the Evolution Toys because it's a little bit more compact and it has all the gimmicks. Uh, such as the bird missile will pop up and the, 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 what do you call that? The, the other bird missile, <laughs> I forgot what it's called, super bird missile or something like that. And it, it will, it will pop up as well. Uh, for the Unu-5, they did not have the, the extra bird missile, just uh, the one on top. Uh, but, but here for the Korean one, the silhouette, as you can tell, is, a lot more sleeker. It feels like something from the real world more than a sci-fi manga. Uh, that's a nice little touch and I love how the stand has the warning bird missile button here. <laughs> so this is actually this actually comes with a, an LED kit. Uh, you're supposed to work uh, the wiring inside but uh, I ordered the normal version and the LED kit got released a little bit later so it's coming. I've ordered it and it's coming and it's not that complicated. They have actually had a special limited edition release and then they had a normal release, but the price point is about, this is about half the price of the special release and the LED only costs like $5. So, oh, this kit in Korea, it costs about 30 bucks. So it's really cheap compared to hundreds of dollars that you spend in those Uni-5 or Evolution toys. Mm, it's so sleek and so sharp and I love the, the details and the design uh, updates they've had this without departing too far from the original manga or anime. It's just amazing. Uh, and the plastic kit itself, it's all, every color is there. You don't need paint. You could maybe add some details, but every color is there. Uh, so, and it, it, it's a snap-on kit, so you don't have to use glue, except, except because this is, I think, one of the earlier attempts by Korea to produce something this advanced and sleek and amazing. There's there's one or two parts that you could use some glue, uh, plastic cement to further secure certain bits on. So, um, great thing about it is the silhouette, uh, the price point, of course, the color and everything. It's, it's amazing. And the fact that it's made in Korea and it's something that hardcore devoted Japanese Plastic Kid enthusiasts will probably drool over it or give high praise to it, I'm, I'm sure. So that's something to be proud of. It's actually released in Korea and Japan at the same time. Um, I'm not sure if it's at the same time, but it should be out there. And I'm sure their response is overwhelming. So they made some changes uh, to make it more detailed. For instance, the uh, part exchange, exchanging parts instead of... Uh, mechanisms where they actually have hatching hatches that open and close the mid, the bird missile hatchets you can replace it with uh, the lid the same with the other bird missile right here at the at the bottom there's also a hatch open and this as well uh the landing gear same as well everything has a hatch that's exchangeable uh same for the the g4 don't really remember the name the girl with the the motorcycle looking thingy it actually is detachable and it attaches here, but the stand itself, uh, this is actually detachable and you need to take this out to close the lid like so. Uh, the bottom thrusters, I did not assemble them yet because these little parts, they do have LED connection that I'm waiting for the LED to come so I could not uh, cover the lid up yet. Um, the thrusters, the intake, uh, the exhaust, everything, the color details are pretty amazing uh, the light up features it's this little part where the uh, where the gacha man ninjas the science ninjas pop up here they're supposed to so it's it's 
translucent and hollow as opposed to just buttons that you used to operate the, uh, the burp missiles to open in the Uni5 or the Evolution toy. So that's a nice detail and actually lights up. Lights up features here, these two thrusters and uh, the additional thrusters on these edges. So those are light up features. Um, they also have the wing sagging motion for the pre-assembly before this G5 actually becomes the God Phoenix. That's a nice little cute touch. And every vehicle has its, uh, can reenact the way it's picked up before assembly. Uh, this car is also detachable from this. And the the God Phoenix toys from Unified actually had this really loosey goosey shaky problem where the the tip, the beak did not stay in place, but this is secured firmly. And I love how sharp it is and how long and sleek it is. I love the proportion. Uh, but one thing a little bit disappointing is this is a bit loosey goosey. It's not. It depends on gravity, more so than actually getting it fixed. So. And even if you put it back in, it's it's not that tight. I wish it could be a little bit tighter. Uh, the G1 plane, it, it's right here, and you could easily pull it out. Yeah, the lid just opens up. Uh, but they actually made some proportional adjustments so that it has a bigger, uh, bigger fin here that fits better. It is actually, you can actually replace it with the ordinary top, like so. So, and also the other little buggy vehicle for the other wing is there as well. And most impressively, the the fireball or the, 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 the flaming phoenix mode. I love how they put it right here at the tip instead of giving an ugly shell to cover this whole thing up that doesn't really look like much. Uh, I love how dynamic it looks this way. Um, one thing, though, this is a little bit heavy so you can't really fix it nicely on the stand as well as you did before you were free of this beak but an amazing feature amazing price point amazing detail and it's not too complicated it's not like a master grade gundam i would say something close to an h grade high grade or something lower than that in terms of difficulty uh, the coloring of course would be required for perhaps a tiny little vehicles but other than that color coordination it's it's perfect uh, i can't give enough praise for the amazing work the creators designers have done here in korea hope is available wherever you may be viewing this from and definitely worth getting can't wait for the leds to uh, come